Even in summer, there are no guarantees about the weather. The rain has forced me indoors, where reptile expert Rhys Jones has a little surprise up his sleeve. Well, I suppose it's to be expected. We are in Wales and the weather's just suddenly changed and it's horrible. <laughs> It is, it is. But uh, we did manage to get some sunshine earlier, which allowed us to go out and find these snakes. We've been out all morning looking it's for the them. crack of dawn. And you've got a little baby grass snake. Yeah. He's gorgeous. So what do you think this is? Is it a male or a female? That's a very good question. If we have a look, um, it's got a very, very long tail, very long, thin tail. So that would normally lead me to believe it's a male. And he's so tiny, I can imagine that it was really hard work trying oh, to yeah. find him. <laughs> Indeed, it's hard enough finding the adults, let alone a tiny little uh, snake like this. But given that there aren't that many grass snakes in Wales, mm -hmm. the National Botanic Gardens is a really good place for them. It's a great site. I mean, it's got everything the grass snakes need here. Um, grass snakes, if they're laying their eggs, for instance, need two things. They need moisture and they need heat. There's some ponds outside as well, you will have noticed. And they spend most of their time hunting um, amphibia, like toads and frogs, etc. So everything they need is outside. Well, he does seem really relaxed with you, mm -hmm. but I do think we should put him back, don't you? Definitely, yes.